If you want to be a data analyst, you need to practice your data skills and build data analyst projects. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 websites you can use to download data for your projects. I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible, but every single website that I discuss in this video will be linked in the description. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first website we're going to look at today is Kaggle.com. Technically, it's Kaggle.com slash datasets. This is probably the most well-known place to get data on the internet, so I obviously had to put it first. Kaggle is awesome because you can use this search bar to search for about any data set imaginable, including this Cafe Sales data set, which is great for practicing data cleaning. Second is ipums.org. This is a website that doesn't get talked about a lot, but I've used this website before for data. You can find a lot of real world data, including census and survey data from the USA, current population survey data, and if you scroll down, you can see there's much more. iPums can be just a little bit tricky when you first get started, but once you figure it out, it's a great place to get data. Number three is Tableau Public. You can find this at public.tableau.com and we have come to their sample data page. Tableau Public has a lot of great things, including a free download of Tableau, but they also have a lot of different data sets split up by category. So if you're just getting started with Tableau or even other tools like SQL and Power BI, this is a great place to come find data that you might be interested in. Website number four is Google Dataset Search. This is a really cool website where you can, as you can guess, search for datasets using Google. As an example, I search for financial data, and as you can see, there are a lot of great options that pulled up that I can scroll through here on the left and click on and look into those data sources. Number five is data.538.com. For anybody that doesn't know, 538.com is a journalism website that reports on politics, sports, economics, and so on. And the cool thing about this website is they publish a lot of the data that goes along with the articles they publish. So if you see an article about something you're interested in, you can go and find the data and dig into it yourself. Number six is data.gov. And as you might expect, this website contains a lot of data sets from the U.S. government. Just clicking on their most popular data sets, we can find data on electrical vehicle population data, crime data from 2020 to present, as well as much more real life data. So this is a great source to get data for your projects or even just to practice with. Website number seven is insideairbnb.com. This website scrapes data straight from Airbnb. So this is a great place to find real life data that is straight from Airbnb. Number eight is the WHO Global Health Observatory. This is straight from the World Health Organization. So if you're interested in health and healthcare data, this is definitely a website you want to check out. Number nine is the UC Irvine Machine Learning Repository. This website has a ton of great data sets for you to practice with and build projects with. So once again, you want to be sure to check this one out. And then finally, number 10 is Maven Analytics Data Playground. This website has a ton of really fun data sets, including Himalayan Expeditions, Pixar Films, Spotify Streaming, the Museum of Modern Art. So there's definitely something on this website that might pique your interest. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Once again, I have all of these videos linked down in the description, so be sure to go check all of them out. And if you want to be a great data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week, helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.